Western women are the most pampered creatures in existence these days. And like all pampered creatures, they have become corrupt and venal and brutal. That's what pampering does. If I had to put money, the most likely scenario is a clash of civilizations. And the clash of civilizations is going to be provoked by the state running out of money. So that the current system is done. Stick a fork in it, turn it over. The current system is done. Yeah. The question is what comes next? And I think a lot of men would be willing to fight if they had enthusiasm for what comes next. But there's no goddamn way men are going to fight and risk life and limb in order to return to the current feminist-led lesbian tirade gynocracy that shreds men for fun and pleasure and profit. There's simply no way any more than you'll jump in front of that bear to save the feminist who thinks you're a piece of shit on the toes of an all-female deity, right? Mm -hmm. You might fight if you want a different society to live in where you're treated with dignity and respect. You might fight for that, but you sure as shit are not going to fight to return to the status quo, are you? No. Save the feminists who hate men. Save the men marching gleefully off into battle in their panties. Come on. Ladies, in order to be saved, you have to be loved. And in order to be loved, you have to be nice. Do you understand? In order to be saved, you have to be loved. In order to be loved, you have to be nice. And if you hate men or you're indifferent to the hatred of men and the suffering of men that results from that hatred, if you're willing to kick men out of the family and bully them out of the workforce and bully them out of schools and drug them for not being like girls, if you treat men like shit, well, slaves don't fight. Or at least they won't fight well. Look, everybody knows. People are saying on these comments, right? I bring this stuff up. What do the people say in the comments? Oh, well, ladies, you think you're equal to men? Why don't you strap on your tank girl halter top and go and fight whatever fight needs to be fought on you? They're not going to do that. Come on. Come on. You might as well go to arm up your kindergarten with Nerf guns and think you're going to take on the Wehrmacht. It's not going to happen. Oh, is there a draft? Oh, drafts make me pregnant. I get inseminated by wind. The draft has made me pregnant. I guess I can't fight after all. Oh, look at that. They're not going to fight. <laughs> They're not going to. It's all a lie. G.I. Jane. Yeah, right. Men got to do 35 push-ups. Bare minimum. Women, 13. <laughs> Man can't even lift an RPG. I've had lots of practice lifting an RPG because I pay standing up. Jesus. They're not... <laughs> and it's just a lie. There is never money to be lost by appealing to female vanity. Nobody ever lost money by saying, well, no, we can't, we can't praise women that much. They won't believe us. <laughs> yeah, you're just like men. You can fight just like men. Meg Ryan, excellent combat queen. Because <laughs> Lara Croft. <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a comic book. It, it, it's insane. It's like going to Big Hero 6 for a physics lesson on robotics. I mean, come on. They're not going to fight. And if you want to lose, just have them fight. Oh, well, but in Israel, no. In Israel, they don't put women on the front lines. Women can't handle the front lines. They get depressed. Women are kind of designed to make life, not take life. Women put frilly things in dollhouses. Boys like firecrackers and wasps' nests. I mean, come on. They're not going to fight. I'm not trying to shame the men into fighting. God, the last thing I want to do, shame the men into if there's going to be a fight. Or, and, and there's going to be a fight. I hope the fight is verbal. I hope the fight is just men standing up and saying, come on, ladies, wake up. I don't care if it's upsetting to you. Deal with it. You know what? Men have been called patriarchs. 
for 60 years and evil misogynist chauvinistic pigs if we can fucking deal with it and you're equal to men you fucking deal with it yes i'm sorry you're upset welcome to being an adult ladies who want equality i'm not trying to shame men into fighting because that's not going to work you can only shame people after you respect them but shaming people you've already shamed all that produces is blowback, which is what we're seeing, or what I'm seeing in the comments below these types of videos. I'm going to shame men into fighting. But if you only listen to men, you don't have much of a civilization. You have pizza box screwed man caves with 90 inch televisions and no vegetables. You don't want to run a society listening to men. And you sure as shit don't want to run a society by, by listening to women. My God. As Camille Paglia said, if women had been in charge of human development, we'd all still be living in caves. Because what, what is a woman's life throughout most of evolution? A woman gets free shit and then she gets pregnant. It's lovely. It's not a bad life. I'd like to come back with functional tits in the future, but that's not how you create a civilization. Free stuff and sperm. Hopefully in that order. But, uh, you know, pendulum, you know, just swung a little bit <laughs> too far one way. And the state, or, you know, state never finds a happy medium, right? So, you know, men just... I know you got to fight your instincts and stop listening to women about what they say they want. I mean, it's 